anyways, um, you know, I didn't have a lot of time to go through um, a bunch of stuff. So, you know, me, I, I've been watching Candace Like a Hawk and uh, her friend, you know, the, the, um, the, the, the unknown child behind Candace that day at the hotel room was her friend's kid. Not her friend's grandkid. At least that's not what they said. They said it's my kid. So it's, it's her kid. Uh, so uh, Candace had some help on her last live. Or her, she, she decided to do a Q&A. And it's like, you know what, all these people, like I have um, multiple questions for her, but they don't want to talk about the questions I have. They want the lighthearted Q&A. What's, what, what do you like in your coffee? What? She's talking and that's what you guys hit her with? Uh, you know, there's, there's allegations coming out from the sheriff that you're, you're not cooperating and you've lawyered up. No questions about that. What? Um, you know, what is, I try not to get frustrated. Here's my problem. Here's my problem. I was watching one of these creators actually ran, you know, an interview with him, right? <clears throat> watching a creator talking about the West Boys, right? The Cal City Boys. And, uh, you know, going through this whole thing about I had to do what's right. You know, uh, due process, due process. Listen, you can do what's right when you do your due diligence. You know, there's nothing more, there's nothing worse than sticking up. Unless you're just all about the money and the clicks. Unless you're all, unless you truly are just about the money and the clicks, right? If you don't do your due diligence and you keep protecting the parents and you keep going out of your way to protect the parents and then find out these horrible, despicable things about them. And then you try to explain yourself to make yourself feel good like you're right. You were wrong. You wouldn't help somebody that did such a despicable act to a child and you're trying to convince yourself that that was okay. That God sent you somehow to protect a monster that most likely had their children help because you didn't do your due diligence. Because you refused to listen to the information, follow the evidence, follow the body language. And you stuck up for such despicable people. That's what I never want to be. I never, ever want to be that. Ever. I would, perf I would, I would deal with everything I have dealt with over and over and over again to be on the right side of the argument down the road when everything comes out. I would never, I would roll over, I would die, literally die before I help a parent and then find out later that not only were, did they do something with their child, they had their other children participate. I would die. There is no excuse for that. You know what, if I ever got sucked in and was manipulated to the point that I believed that and found out not, I would work on making sure that never happened again, not providing myself excuses as to why that happened. As to why that happened, right? Summer Wells, no different. I am not going to slob the knob of Don and Candace to get interviews with them or anything like that, especially when I know what they are capable of, right? We were able to get conversations recorded, interviews done with Don without even having to do that, with standing on our own two feet and still being loud and the opposing voice to their BS. And guess what? We still were able to talk to them. I was still able to be who I was and still get the interview that I needed. I did not have to sit there and act fake or sell my soul to the devil 